I would say it started probably around fifth grade. I started having really bad stomach issues. Just constant nausea. I'd go to school, I'd run home from school and just sit in front of the toilet for hours. It would be an understatement if I said I'd had 40 colonoscopies and endoscopies together. And then in February of 2014, I, I was um, working and I noticed that I wasn't seeing the computer like I usually do. My vision went very, very quickly. I would say my vision was gone probably within a month and a half. I was one point away from being legally blind. So then they sent me to a world-renowned eye doctor. I was told I had cancer. I'd also went to the naturopathic doctors in search of hope because I was so sick. That doctor told me to come home and make my funeral arrangements that I had wasting disease. And then I had two MRIs on my brain after I lost my eyesight. And my doctor's like, there is something wrong. She kept thinking it was MS or Graves' disease. I wasn't even home and she was calling me on the phone. They had found the Chiari malformation. And she was already making the call to Dr. Gilmore. She had a patient prior to me, just one other patient with this. Tina had uh, come in with um, very dramatic symptoms. Um, she was very concerned that she was losing her vision. Chiari um, can mimic a lot of other problems. You know, in Tina's case, for example, at one point she was suspected of having cancer because of the hair loss, the precipitous weight loss, the constant nausea. I mean, she looked sick. She was, when I first met her, she was all wrapped up in blankets because she couldn't maintain any body temperature. She um, was only 99 pounds at five foot five because uh, she couldn't eat. She had headaches as well, but they were not as great a symptom as her other problems. My car sickness is so severe that just to go down to Dr. Gilmore, it's a 45 minute trip, but I have to make it a two day trip. I have to go stay in a hotel just to get down there and then go see her the next day. If she even uh, tried to go to a store or walk into a house with patterned carpeting or pattern on the um, floor tiles, she would become nauseated. But you have to realize in, the, in this time, we had no hope. We had been to everybody. I thought I was gonna be blind the rest of my life. Well, I saw that her um, MRI showed Chiari malformation. If we draw a line between the Bayesian and the Episteon, all of her brain should be above the back of her skull, basically. Um, and she has this brain hanging down into her spinal canal, which is her Chiari malformation. Chiari, since it causes a blockage of fluid flow at the base of the skull, can mimic other problems like pseudotumor cerebri, which um, are, is, a, is a medical condition that involves headaches and loss of vision. So patients can have a pseudotumor-like variant with Chiari malformation, and when you decompress the Chiari, those symptoms go away. Tina primarily had very high pressure when I opened the covering of the brain, and then the um, cerebellar tonsils were enlarged, they were dysmorphic, which means kind of misshapen, abnormal, and they were completely blocking the fourth ventricle. So um, the decompression uh, reduced the size of the tonsils to open the fourth ventricle widely and get fluid flowing between the brain and the spine. Um, she did very, very well. I just passed my two year anniversary of my zipper bursaries, what they call it. And I'm happy to say that my vision has gotten better. I am able to drive my truck and function a little bit better. I still have to use my magnifying glasses. I want people to know that have Chiari, they're not alone. I thought I was for a long time, and I'm not. And Dr. Gilmore at Michigan Head and Spine Institute, she was my hero.